No sex on my wedding night. I'm Dr. Doug Weiss. I have heard men and women for over the last 30 years tell me, Dr. Weiss, it started on our wedding night. We didn't have sex. He didn't ask. He fell asleep. She pulled away from me. Even if prior to that, they were having sex very regularly, something about getting married that day changed everything. If that's what you experience, I want to share with you a possibility as to why that happened and it had nothing to do with you, your body, your sexuality, or anything to do with you. See, I've been working in the area of addiction and intimacy and anorexia for over 30 years. And I've heard this many, many times. And so how is it that people from various countries, various cultures, all socioeconomic strata, uh, uh, stratas have experienced the same thing. Now, that, if it was a one-time thing and you know you got over it, then don't worry about it, okay? Bad night. But for many millions of men and women, that started a trajectory of aloneness, feeling disconnected, feeling married, but more like roommates. Your, your spouse is always kind of pulling away from you, or you feel like you have to beg to be wanted. You have to, you have to kind of knock at the door really loud to get connection, affection, or even sexuality or connected sexuality. You might even feel alone during sex. So if this is what happened to you, first of all, I want to validate it had nothing to do with you. The other person has an issue I want to share with you about, and then you can Google and learn all you want about it. But it's called intimacy anorexia which is actively withholding emotional, spiritual, and sexual intimacy from you, the spouse. And even if you're having sex, you're, you're, you're not having it either regularly, or you have to do all the initiation, or it feels like you're alone during sex. If you're experiencing any of this, let me walk through some quick characteristics, and then you can Google the term intimacy anorexia. I've got lots of information out there. And if this is what's going on with you, your wedding night, was not about you. It was about starting a whole pattern of pushing you away, creating pain in your relationship so that you would stay at a distance so that the other person could be safe. Okay, here's some characteristics. Keep track of the yeses on your fingers as I go through this. They're too busy for you. They blame you for any problems in the relationship. They withhold love from you, especially the way you like to be loved. They withhold praise from you. They withhold spiritually from you. They withhold sex or they're disconnected during sex. They're unwilling or unable to share their feelings with you, real feelings. They use anger or silence as a way to control in the relationship. Uh, they um, may control or shame around money issues. Oftentimes you feel like your roommates. They have ongoing or ungrounded criticism of you whether they speak it or not. Now, if you're in this situation, you married someone with intimacy anorexia, the wedding night closed the door. So that's why when you were dating, it seemed normal and fun and even sexual and romantic. But when, the, when you said, I do, there was no escape. They didn't feel safe. And this whole structure came into your life, leaving you alone, leaving you disconnected. I wanna encourage you, Go to intimacyanorexia.com or get the book Intimacy Anorexia or the DVD or anything on this topic and read about it. If this is you, there's help for your spouse. There's a whole bunch of books and uh, workbooks for married and alone for you. There's support groups. You can actually be heard and validated. So if your wedding night started off really bad and your marriage feels alone, there's hope if they want to get better or if you equip yourself and you begin to heal from the impacts of this our research on partner betrayal trauma show that someone married to an intimacy anorexic has just as much damage as someone who's had an affair or has married someone with a serious sexual addiction so your pain's real 
but you can start taking a path to healing.